Yeah, yeah, cry all you want. You're not going back out again. You were trying to fight Steve again. You went outside. We let you outside. You wanted to go pick a fight. That's what happens. When you pick a fight, you get grounded. You're grounded. You're effectively grounded right now, Lucky. You're in trouble. You're grounded. We are the afternoon of Sunday, December 18th, a week away from Christmas. This is what we're dealing with with Lucky. He has been doing this since he came in yesterday evening. This cat has been impossible since yesterday evening. Eight o'clock at night, this cat was meowing and meowing and meowing and wanted to eat. At eight o'clock at night. We didn't see him for lunch. We didn't see him for supper. He finally came in around close to four, I want to say. We tried doing the litter box. I'm going to put some photos right here to show you exactly what he thought of the litter box. Not a fan of the litter box at all, mind you. Yes, this is him trying to get out. He wants to get out to go fight Steve. Not happening. No, you're not getting out. Let me show you what we have to do to the litter box. Instead of using the smaller one, we ended up using the bigger one. Yes, he uses it. That cardboard on there is to keep Duke from sticking his nose in it. I need to get a real scoop for the litter box. Obviously, we're not going to use that again. But, turned out, that was too big, and that was the perfect size. When we let him out close to noon, I hear him underneath my porch going after Steve. I had to chase Steve off. Yes, he's trying to get out. No, you cannot get out. You're a bad kitty. You're not going to be free in my house. You're a bad kitty. You're grounded. Yes, you are. You're grounded. You are very much grounded. And poor Duke just don't know what to make of the entire situation. He's been running either to me or to Grandma because of the little monster. Trust me, he has definitely earned his name, Little Monster. Maybe I should have left him outside. I don't know. I'm beginning to think I should have. I can leave him outside. He can run around, chase Steve, get his little rear end whooped, or get into a really bad fight with Steve and probably hurt Steve in the process. Who knows? Or let him do, and I know Kai Kai's fixed, so I'm not going to have to worry about kittens, but look what he's trying to try to get out. He's going to either hurt himself trying to fight with Steve or hurt himself trying to get out. I don't know which. He wants to get out to go be with Steve. Or he used to go fight Steve. Lucky. Lucky, you cannot do that. You can't go outside. Okay? Yeah, you can't go outside, Bubba. You have to stay. You have to stay. I know. Oh, wait a minute. What did I just see? Did you guys see that on his back? Let me see. Does it look like he has a piece of some fur missing? Could be wrong. Let me see. No, I could be wrong. Let me see. Yeah, he does. Uh -huh. Look, hold on. Let me show you. Wait. Wait, Lucky. Right here. Right here, look. Let me show you. I'm right. Steve, Steve got a hold of him. I know you didn't see it well, but that does look like an injury, and it's either from yesterday, it has to be from today. But he got into it with Steve, and Steve got him. And he wants more? Really? Stop it. You really want to go outside and get hurt again? Lucky, you're grounded, brother. You are definitely grounded. I know. I know. Oh, Yeah, but you grounded. I'm sorry. You grounded. You're not getting out. And I'm not helping you. Uh-uh. It doesn't look too bad. It's not swollen. A big old chunk of fur missing. And a cut. All because this one is madly in love with Kai Kai and Steve don't. I'm not to show you the cat's rear end because he keeps spinning around. <sighs> Lucky. 
You are something else entirely, my friend.